Just recently, I put out a video as the fantastical Broken Matt Hardy. But I know there's a lot of people out there that don't get Broken Matt. They don't understand the way he speaks. So now I am releasing a video as normal, real life Matt. And I'm also going to talk about the importance of wearing a mask in public right now. I'm going to be honest. I don't get up the first thing in the morning and go, oh my God, it's a beautiful day. I can't wait to put on my mask and go to the gas station and fuel up my car or put on a mask and go to the grocery store and pick up groceries for my family. I, I don't say that. In a perfect world, I wouldn't have to. In a perfect world, none of us would have to. But we are obviously not living in a perfect world. We're in the midst of a pandemic. Over 125,000 Americans dead. Uh, the growth of this virus has been more rapid than ever the last couple of days. And I know a lot of people are going, I'm not going to wear a mask because this is a political thing. The government is trying to control me. No, actually, the government controlled us for a while when they shut down businesses and whatnot. And they made everybody go in lockdown and everyone was quarantined. But then they let us back out. But once they let us out to our own devices and then in the midst of all these protests that were going on, that's when the numbers went ran rapid. And now they're more than ever, stronger than ever. And, and even people say like, well, you know, a lot of people recover from the coronavirus. I'm sure, Matt, you're 45 years old. You're in good health. You would recover. And yeah, I probably would if I got it. But it's not just about me, guys. Thinking it's just about you, that's selfish. And I certainly can't be selfish. I have a family. I have a wife. I have three young children, ages five, three, and one. And I certainly don't want any of my children to grow up with some irreversible effects that were harm them when they were very young, when they were infants. And then I have a father that is 86 years old and in poor health. So if I would get the virus and then give it to him, that's a death sentence for him. Wearing a mask is not only to protect you, it's to protect other people too. We have to be accountable. We have to be responsible. We have to do our individual parts in the greater good to try and help slow down this pandemic. That is the whole point here. Wearing a mask is just the right thing to do. It's being responsible. It's giving a shit about other people out there. And if you think wearing a mask makes you weak or afraid, it, it doesn't. Wearing a mask makes you unselfish. It makes you intelligent. So America, get your shit together. Wear a mask. Utilize social distancing. Use common sense. I mean, people think like you have to wear a mask 24 hours of the day. That's not the case. If you go in the grocery store, wear your mask. What, 15 minutes? You go in the gas station, five minutes, wear a mask. If you're in a public place, around a large gathering of people, wear a mask. It's not only protection for you, but it's also protection for them. Be concerned about the greater good. Be concerned about your fellow Americans. And let's start doing everything that we can do in our power for the greater good. Let's try and slow down this pandemic and let's try and snuff this thing out so we can get back to our normal life. That's what I wanna do. And wearing a mask isn't you being afraid or weak or a victim. It's just about you doing your part of the greater good. Wear a mask.